In this session, I'm going to give an overview of the Juniper Northstar WAN SDN controller. The Northstar WAN SDN controller is Juniper's path computation engine, sometimes referred to as a PCE. This is a device that provides centralized control uh, within, within a wide area network, such as a core network, or perhaps extending to the edge network within, uh, within the infrastructure. So if we look at some of the business problems uh, that service providers often face, these would be relation to limited visibility of their, their network traffic uh, profiles and types. Uh, often service providers don't actually, are not fully aware of, of where all of the traffic is within their network because it's been built up historically over a period of time. And they often over provision the amount of network capacity to, uh, to deal with resilience and also to deal with traffic peaks within their network. And then the other problem that service providers often face is they need to provision extra capacity within the network infrastructure to, uh, to allow them to launch new revenue generating services. So if we look at a typical uh, service provider core network, uh, we would see that there is a significant amount of over provisioned bandwidth. The networks are typically very complex and there isn't an overall network wide view of, uh, of, of all of the traffic flows and traffic types within the network infrastructure. Also, service providers often provision resilience at multiple lay layers, such as within the optical transport network and also within the packet network, which traverses on top of that optical network. So often we find that there is somewhere between 40 and 60% of the bandwidth in the, in the network is not actually utilized. Also, we find that because core networks tend to be mission critical, the service providers are very reluctant to touch their core networks. If they're functioning, they tend to leave them alone and they don't follow any sort of uh, rigorous process to optimize these networks because of fears of, uh, of, of network meltdowns due to, uh, due to actually trying to optimize the network infrastructure. And they're also, as I mentioned earlier, they're over-provisioning the network bandwidth based upon, based upon traffic spikes. So we see often uh, in, the, in the internet age that uh, there is a vast amount of over-provisioned bandwidth in the network. So what we're actually trying to do with Northstar is provide two things. First of all, a simulation environment where we can absorb all of the traffic types and traffic flows within the network and simulate what might happen in certain scenarios within that network infrastructure. So for example, if there was a network outage in a node or a link, or even if there was a network outage across a, uh, a complete part of the network, the service provider could understand exactly what would happen within that. And secondly, because we have network-wide visibility using Northstar, so a centralized device which, uh, which allows us to, to have a network-wide view of all of the traffic demands and all of the traffic flows in the network, we can optimize that infrastructure. And so then, essentially, we move to this kind of model here where we have a much more perfectly engineered or optimized network infrastructure where we can actually recover lots of that underutilized bandwidth in the network. We can kind of, kind of use an analogy in this case. So if we think about um, defragmenting a hard drive on a, on, a, on a regular PC. This is a similar, similar approach within the network, so finding that extra unused capacity. And this has a real advantage that the service provider can then use, use some of this uh, recovered capacity to actually drive uh, bandwidth growth within their network. So if we take a look at uh, a very high level look at the Northstar SDN controller, uh, it provides an intelligent uh, analytical capacity, so for forecasting, capacity planning, and network optimization. It can be used to do an offline what-if analysis, so we can look at various network scenarios offline, but using an exact model of the network and all of the traffic flows that are within, within it. And then we can use that to then enhance uh, and provide new service capabilities by providing additional capacity within the network and building that very optimized infrastructure. So it allows the service provider to do more with the network that they have and run it in a much more optimized fashion.